Hello and welcome to Show Off, a uh, Thief 2 fan mission by Grand Warden, created for the Thief 2 20th anniversary contest uh, at ttlg.com. This doesn't have a briefing uh, video, so I will read the text instead. Keep a secret with someone trustworthy, and it will never see the light of day. Keep a secret with someone unreliable, and it will spread like wildfire. Just as secrets make it easy to prove one's loyalty, it will just as easily expose you to your adversaries. The Encryptor's Book of Meditations. The nobles of the city are always behaving as if they share a hive mind. No matter which district they live in or how tall the piles of gold they sleep on, they seem to obsess over the exact same fashions and trends. Which dresses to wear, which bowls to attend, which cigars to smoke. It's boring enough to lull you to sleep. But now you have the opportunity to use their latest fad against them. About two months ago, reports came in of some unusual gemstones dug up in the western mountains. Dark red crystals that appear to have a glowing core. Their colour and their jagged shapes earn them the name Crimson Shards, and the nobles can't get enough of them. Everyone wants Crimson Shards set on their necklaces, their bracelets, their tiaras, and whatever else they adorn themselves with. The stonecutters of the city are making a fortune, and if all goes well tonight, so will you. On the edge of Hightown is a fine art gallery called the Furlong Museum, and word has it that the curators have purchased several pieces of jewellery with Crimson Shards to put on display. Currently the museum is closed for renovations, no doubt to beef up security for the new exhibit. The guards are certain to be on high alert for jewel-hungry thieves like you, so you've got your work cut out for you. But pull this off, and it'll be you living the high life for a change. Let's begin! Red, Scarlet, or Crimson. Uh, as usual, without anything else to go on, I'm going to stick with the uh, middle difficulty, the equivalent of hard. And uh, it depends on the fan mission as to whether they've actually implemented rules like don't kill anyone, but at least the, all the stock missions on hard, basically, you could kill if and, uh, well, not innocent people, you kill guards. And as usual, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume that's the case here. I stick to this middle difficulty so that if I get in a tight spot and I have no other choices, I can kill guards to get rid of them. I'll usually try not to, I prefer to leave them alone. So, let's show off. The Furlong Museum is preparing to host an exhibit of jewellery set with crimson shards. These deep red gemstones are quite valuable right now, so you better steal them while you have the chance. A noble named Matheson claims he was tricked into donating his family heirloom, the CSI Diamond, to the museum. He promised you good coin if you can retrieve it. The more you steal tonight, the longer you can afford to keep a low profile afterwards. Gather at least 2,000 loot. Only an amateur would spill unnecessary blood. Don't kill any non-combatants. Setting up alarm alarms is sloppy and unprofessional. Don't do it. Oh dear, that might be tricky. When you've stolen everything you can, leave the district through any of the large gates. Let's just have a look at the other difficulties. Crimsoners don't kill anybody. And a loot goal. And an extra uh, bonus uh, objective about stealing some more stuff. Red, easy difficulty or normal difficulty will allow me to set off alarms. Hmm. Well, let's, let's stick with Scarlet, let's see how we go. If I mess up, I'll start the recording over again on the lower difficulty. I just better check my map. Oh, I don't have a map. Well, I need to go to the museum, I guess, and steal things. Don't know where the museum is. Let's quick inventory check. Sword, blackjack, 15 broadheads, 10 waters, 7 moss arrows, 2 rope arrows. And 1 slow fall potion, 2 flash bombs, lockpicks, flares, how useful. Everyone loves flares. Um, and that's it.
Oh, there's any guards wandering the streets. Let's take a look up here. as mouse sensitivity. Now this door doesn't open. Don't look like actual doors either, so I guess it's not a place to get in. Oh, there are guards. And civilians with juicy purses. Being stuck on lampposts, which is awkward for me. Oh, there they go. Who was that there? I saw something. Oh, it's just where I need to be. There's guards in there. It's a big fancy place. It doesn't look like the best approach. Oh hey, they came down this alley anyway. Could have picked a pocket much more easily. Good to know. Ugh, too many guards. Let's go up the street we started on. That's just them. to knock them out and I don't know where they're going to go. Right. Just let them get past. Oh. God, look at all this light and all these guards. It was nothing. Probably just the wind. Guards hanging about. Stand for them. Stop at once. Oh, that was good timing. Shadow play won't sort out. Oh, so there's even more of the town up there. Alright. I could go knock him out, but I'm not sure I have a reason to. Guess it's a quiet shift after all. Do 
you have anything on your belt, good sir? No. Alright, well let's check out the marketplace. I see a guard. Garrett, when will you learn not to open doors into your own face? Hey, money. Oh, this is a nice little back garden. Someone's been planting uh, carrots. I'll never get hungry on the on the job. I'll have something to eat. Is there anywhere else to go from here? Oh, what's our nice? Okay, I'm going back. Very careless to leave money on your market stand. Jeez, why not? Behind the counter? Oh no. More money. 69. Nice. Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Try this game instead. Got the guard wandering past. this. Oh, it's that lady again. Well, I hope she doesn't see me and sound the alarm. Oh, I can't pick that one. That will need a key. Oh no, <laughs> it's unlocked. Flare. Great. Well, that's not not entirely useful. So we've got the guard wandering around. It's going to come back soon. I don't know where the pedestrian went. I hope they're going on a loop. Spot. Are they 
So, do I have something on the belt there? Healing potion looks like. All right, I think I'll follow them. saw me but not enough to matter. Well all this food will be valuable when I get in trouble and get hurt and need to heal. Right, she's coming back, I don't know what to do about him. Oh he turns. She doesn't have been very long over the left side either, so I might actually take this opportunity to George, that you? No. George is hanging out at the other end of town. Alright, sleep there. Sir? So that's stone or marble is standing? It looks like stone. If it was marble, it would be very hard to get up and to sneak up on him. Who's this now? Come on, turn to your right. To your right. Not that hard, sir. Just just one little tiny micro pirouette. No, the other way. Dear, dear. See, I don't think I can get past him otherwise. Well, if I put out that light, maybe sneak along in the shadow there. Maybe. This looks like deceptive brightness there. I mean, I have to try it if he doesn't turn to the right, so. Or I could distract him. He's not looking away, alright. Oh, he does turn that way. Well, after all that, I'm glad those lights have a very, very short reach. Oh, that's too bright here. Okay, now he turned the other way. No, 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 no. The other way. Are you really trying to make this as difficult as possible for me. Let's try this gate. 
which is not a gate. Oh, brilliant. I'm going to knock him out then. Oh. It's a little tedious. Well, I'll look forward to that day. Because while you're sneaking up on them, I'll be sneaking up on you. So, like, for half an hour I was standing on the other side waiting for you to turn this way, and now you won't turn anything but this way. It strikes me that that would be a pretty fun trick to play on players as a mission designers script it so that his, his turning parameters change depending on which side you're standing on so that he never turns away <laughs> it'd be very cruel but you know it would be fun if you want one guard to be particularly awkward this guard doesn't seem to be guarding anything so anything I can use anyway it's not a door so it would merely be awkward without a good purpose in this case Alright, now with him out of the way, I can uh, see what we got here. Oh, it's just a doorway. So, little veranda. And a courtyard that I cannot get into. That appears to be a dead end. Those aren't windows that open. Alright, so. Hmm. This wasn't much point coming here after all. Anything else in these market stalls? No. And um, yeah, I went in there. Good. So leave no evidence. Or, well, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be, uh, you know, obsessive about ghosting. Let's leave very little evidence. Second. I've been down this way. Oh, that's where I came from. Not a door. Is this a door? Quiet, you lumbering ox. Not a door. Now this annoys me. Put handles on so it looks like a door, but it's not a door. Yeah, you walk right up to it and find out it doesn't work. That's that's a good door. That's a good not door. I can see from a distance that it's not a door. I don't need to waste my time on it. Big flowers. There's where we're supposed to get to. Oh, hello. Those look climbable. Who do I hear? Someone on the other side of this wall, maybe. Jump off a off an incline like this. Just gonna try jumping up there, but uh, oh, don't mind me. Right, let's try the rope. Oh, that's a guard. <clears throat> oh, is, is 
No, 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 no. Inconvenient civilians. Don't worry, there's nobody here at all. <coughs> well, don't come here. <clears throat> Go away down the street. All right, that way. I do like these city streets. I mean, they're very... I would like to have a map so I know where I'm going. But they're actually quite good about the map. What's that guard doing? Anyway, right. back to that once I've finished scouting the streets here because I can use that as a way in if I'm a little smarter about my jumping. It seems like a good way in. Let's just scout what this guard is doing. Thank goodness for that mechanical eye you got, Garrett. That's, the zoom is quite useful. He's got nothing to pickpocket. No, there's too many guards. Let's 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 just go in over the wall. We won't be able to get out the same way, of course. We'll have to figure out how to get out. <laughs> Just the wind. Where's God? There's no lo there's no darkness. Gate, which I will. Oh, hello. Oh, is someone there? No, seems peaceful <laughs> enough now. And that was stupid because I don't have anywhere to put him. Dark enough there. Great, Garrett, you incompetent thief. Uh. Ah. We're gonna have to steal this key. We're gonna have to carry this body so he doesn't see it while we go to steal his key. It's like, just don't look behind you, there's someone entirely unsuspicious wandering around. It's a corpse of your friend. And you know what? Actually, let's, let's leave you to wonder. You seem harmless. I will hide your friend in the basement if I can. A moss error. That is moss error. 
I should snag that. Alright, where's this key? Nope. Not the right key. What is it, the key to that door? Oh, dang it. This is more like a circus than a... I mean, it's dark here, but you're walking right into him and seeing him, so... Right, let's try it on this gate. Gate. Door. You know. I don't know. Okay, that's it. That's not good. What if I climb up here and leave him on the balcony? Good thing Garrett can climb with one hand. <sighs> well, it's not all dark. There is a dark corner. All right. And tile floors. My favorite. Let's see what Gaz is dealing with. I could really use that monster. I have eight of them. Oh shit, I've got security. Well, I'm not gonna get in here. Not with two guards and two watches, and I'm not allowed to set off alarms. Alright. Time for plan B. Get back down without breaking my neck. <laughs> Try that tree. <clears throat> oh, just a twisted angle. Alright. Let's see if my apple will cure it. Nope. Let's see if my carrots will cure it. There we are. Alright, let's try this door. Stay low because of him. to be a nice safe corner. No security. What's this? Emergency exit only. So I gonna set off an alarm, you know? I suppose not. Oh! Okay, that's where that is. Whichever one of you taffers managed to somehow block this door from the inside, congratulations! Now we have no way to set up the exhibit of orb and crosses. Therefore, I have no choice but to slash everyone's wages in half until this door is open again. And if it's still stuck by the time we reopen next week, consider that pay cut permanent, Captain Jarvis. Great. Wonder is it an actual door? Let's let's. Yes. Well, it's a door object. Doesn't seem great to break there. Oh, it does break. You didn't hear that, did you? No, he didn't hear that. He's just struggling as usual. Good, good. Does he have any keys? No. Door. Oh ho! This is a setting for an exhibit that's not. Hmm. Huh. I 
guess this meant as a, a secret way back from somewhere. Not much good to me. Now, see, what I want to do here is read what all these paintings are. And this fellow is going to make that a nuisance, so I think he has to go. Okay, calm down. There's nothing there. Nothing at all. Hmm. I've forgotten too. What am I supposed to be stealing? The jewelry with crimson shards, that's right. And the CSI. And a whole bunch of money. And not set off alarms. Gonna need to find the security. What? These are not readables? Oh, disappointed. That's not readable either. Alright, well, I should have let him continue marching then. Wow, more watches. I do not like that. Employees only be on this point. You know, if they're going to have security controls, it's going to be in an employee only area, right? I don't think that's going to work, is it? Nope. Well, I could smash it, but that would probably attract too much attention. Let's see what's upstairs. It strikes me that none of these strange noises. Shit. You can't hide forever. Someone else heard a door. Where are you? Yep, someone else alerted. Let's wait here in the dark for them. Ah, they're going away. Good, good. Uh, you'll notice I'm quick saving a fair amount, and that's mostly so that uh, if I mess up really badly and die, I just have a recent spot to save from. I'm not going to be safe scumming apart from actual death. So that, although that's watching this way, it didn't actually see me when I walked when I was standing out here before. So, oh, he will though. One peep out of you, and that's it. Didn't? Why didn't you shut the door behind you, man? Oh dear. That's it. You have it. Well, okay, this is good, this is, this is good. Ooh, nice edge. Uh, please don't kill me. He's gonna kill me. I don't know, they both want to kill me. Ah. I'll be 
seeing you again, Chopper. Take him. <laughs> Come on up then. Oh, I had a slow fall potion. I could have used that. I could have used it. Well, let's eat all my food. Some healing. Don't worry, I'll find you. Keep alert. I think I saw something. Oh, oh. That's it. You've had it. Die. Right, I'm gonna load there because I was just about to die from a combination of rope and guard. Always a bad combination. I should stay out of light. Well, 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 well. There's still two guards running around in there. So I really just... I don't know if I've got any choice other than wait for these people to calm down. I've got one flash bomb, that's not really good. Okay, well he's back to his patrol. He's the He's the one that was out here in the yard, I think. I didn't even notice the uh, topiary. Nice barrack hedge there. That's I really like that, that's good. He's just the courtyard one. So hopefully the other guy is going to go back, give up and go back indoors to wherever he was. So all I need to do is deal with this fellow. If I can get down without dying, which is always the trick, isn't it? I appear to be on the rope. Let's just not move. Yeah, I just realized it's my only rope iron. So I will want to retrieve it. Well. Score one for the airborne KO stat, I hope. Alright, join your friend here. So the other guard was the guy from up there, wasn't he? So he hasn't come back to his post yet. That's annoying. Oh wait, I think that's him right now. There's no boss arrow here. I could have sworn I saw one. Where did I pick it up? Maybe I picked it up. Maybe that's the one I saw. Oh, two. That's good. There's a lot of tile inside. I'll be wanting these. Ah, that's someone on the other side of the wall I'm hearing. Okay. And is he back at his post? Can't tell. I'm going to stay low just in case. Alright. Let's leave the door open if I guess I need, in case I need another getaway. Good work, Carrot. You're doing really well so far. Clean up a messes.
Well, I'm not dead. I haven't actually stolen anything I need to steal yet. And I've wasted a rope arrow and all my healing. But I'm not dead. So, you know, that's always something. Yeah, no. No titles on those paintings either. Alright. So we know how friendly fellow is there. Just waiting to hear our footsteps on this. So I'm going to deal with him too. Because he he's already been alerted at least once, so he'll be paying more attention to odd noises, which is not really good for me. The nice thing about those cameras is they can't hear, so... Ah, uh, you, you can stay here. No? No one will see you there, right? I can just be lazy. Now... Tiara of Rowena. Donated by Lady Isabella. What's the key for? I'll pick it. I wonder if there's an alarm. I'm not going to risk it. There is a lot of security in this place. Anything in there? You know, anyone dropped any rings down the loo? It happens. Garrett doesn't mind getting his hands dirty. Ha uh ha. -huh. Nothing. All these rich people in their fancy bathrooms and they never leave the slightest bit of anything for us to pick up. Okay, so there's a watch there. There's a guard patrolling the next room. Wait, there's a watcher. Maybe it's underneath me. Yeah, I guess it's underneath me. There is a watcher in the next room though, so I'm not going to be able to get through there. I me. Hmm. Well, there's just another security barrier there I'm going to have to deal with. As well as that watcher, so this isn't that good either. How, where do I go? This is difficult. Oh, oh. <sighs> ah, it's a noisy floor. What's going on over there? Fuck the camera. I lost him. If you come a little bit closer, just just a little bit. Yeah, that's right. Good, good. Come on, coward! Face me. Very good, very good. You are my new best friend. Oh, it doesn't spot me at all from that distance. Thankfully. Alright, let's clean up these messes. I can't really see a good way forward there, although... Put this fellow out of the way. Yeah. Okay, let's go out of safe spot. It's a little bit longer, but... 
Now this fellow's out of the way, I could maybe get through the upper room without worrying about noise, although it's so open that the sound will probably carry downstairs where that other guard was patrolling. So if I run across that hallway to get underneath the watcher before it can turn to see me, I will probably end up alerting more guards. It's not really the plan. Not bothered about ghosting particularly, but I would prefer not to just play a cleaner. But, uh, it's definitely the safest option. All right, I'm gonna, if I remember correctly, score down here was wood. So why don't I try breaking it? Good, good. I did hear someone down here earlier, but they appear to have gone, so... I think I got away with it. There they are. Two hundred thirty nine gold. I will knock him out. This feels like a nice place to have all to myself. Something in the corner there. Ah, oh, that's a secret. 639 gold. I think our objective is 2000. Yeah. And what's in here? Come on, off, off. Nice little silver statuettes. Okay. So that's the backyard, and this guy doesn't have a key, does he? No. You know what? No one's going to look for him up here. only area. Oh, ooh, this looks like security controls. Where else does this go though? Same room. Another hallway. Oh, there is someone there. Dang it. I don't know if it comes in here or not. I'd rather hope not. But a little bit of watching and waiting never hurt anyone. And listening. Oh, I hear nothing. Okay, I guess it's gonna come down this way after all. 
So where does he go? Yep, there he is. I can observe from here. This is good. This room looks safe. Unless I turn the lights on. <coughs> Alright, you carry on your patrol there, you're not gonna bother me. What do we got? I am so sick about guests complaining about the watches that help guard the plethora of valuables in our museum. Always on and on about how they're creepy or outdated or something. Frankly, I don't see any problem. They've been working great ever since those nice mechanists installed them all those years ago. Of all the break-ins we've had since, the watches have caught more would-be thieves than the guards have. If anything is worth complaining about, it's that we weren't able to get more watches in here before the mechanists disbanded. Now I'm on the side of your guests there. Lord Gervasius, I am writing to inform you that we will not be showcasing any more of your theatre masks beyond the six we already have on display. The Furlong is a museum of the finest modern art, not a warehouse for storing your personal collection. If you truly feel your precious masks aren't safe within your own mansion, might I suggest spending some of your wealth on some better security? Curator Froggit. P.S. And for the last time, no more of those old clay masks from lost civilizations. We are not a stuffy history museum either. Oh, masks. A oh, bookshelf with no secret books. It would seem. And nothing on top. That is just a light switch, yeah. Alright, where is that guard hiding? Is this door locked? No, 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 nothing. Nothing at all. Whew. That was close. All, all good there. Let's just wait for him to go back. All right. At this point, I don't see how we can hope to compete with the likes of the Wheelstrom or the Bennington. Our museum is packed full of the most glamorous works of art this side of Hightown, which ought to be especially appealing to the local nobility, and yet some days they barely trickle in through the door. If this keeps up, we might not be open past the end of the year. We're in luck. I had to pay a steep price for them, but I managed to find someone willing to sell us a set of jewellery containing those fabulous crimson shards the nobles love so much. The best place for them would probably be the second floor of the tower, so I'll have to make sure we install some extra security machines up there. Froggett insists her metal faces will be sufficient protection, but I'm not taking any risks with an investment this big. Curator McCalmont, have you received any word from that diorama artist we hired? The square tables we just put in on the second floor are a pleasant bit of woodwork for sure, but they're going to look awfully bare if we don't have any dioramas to put on them when the furlong reopens next week. Perhaps we should contact that handsome carpenter again and ask if he could also carve some fancy wood sculptures to put on display, seeing as how the other guy has failed to deliver anything thus far. What do you think? Curator Froggett. Mm. If you Ooh, that's nice. Healing question. If he's a carpenter, <laughs> you know, is he really going to produce the kind of high quality artwork you need? I bet that door's also locked, right? Yeah. Right, which means I think I need to wait for this guard to come through back because I don't know what his patrol is. It's like him. No sound leaks through these doors. There'll be plenty of time to pick it once he's going the other way, but uh, if I start now, I think I'm risking a little too much. Yeah, there he is. Don't notice the door, please.
Alright. Oh, nice. Oh, we'll use one of them right away, I think. Got a patch of darkness for myself. I'll keep the other one for uh, to be useful somewhere. There's nothing here. Just a bunch of crates. Can I hand the guards' quarters? I hand this guards can be going coming back and forth in there. I should leave the door open. At least then I'll hear him. How are you doing there? Apple, I don't mind if I do. Bernardo, I'll be up in the tower this evening inspecting the display cases for the Crimson Shards. The new security barrier at the door is set on a timer, so that it turns on during nighttime hours and reactivates itself after two minutes if it's shut off. The inspection should take me until about midnight, so when the clock strikes, I want you to come upstairs and confirm that I've finished, then head to the security room and switch off the barrier so I can leave. Captain Jarvis. Okay, that's, that's a lot of useful information. There's a thing that turns itself off. After, oh, flash bomb. After two minutes. Let's see what it says again. Uh, and there's the talk about the barrier, so past that first watch we saw, that'll be the barrier. The barrier set on the timer it turns on after two minutes. Uh, so, we'll have to switch off the barrier and we've got two minutes to get in and do our stuff and get out again? Hmm, all right. That'll be tricky. And there's a guard in there. Well, Captain Jarvis is in there. I still don't have a map. I don't know why I thought I would have a map. I just, you know, kind of habitual when I'm stopped and waiting for a guard to take a look at the map and plan my next move. But uh, let's see where this door goes. It's locked, I don't have the key, and there's somebody sleeping there, so uh, I don't think I'll be getting through there. Alright, so what's the plan now? We've got the security room to check out. We need to check out the security room. We need to see what that room the civilian is standing in is all about as well. And there's another office here that we haven't been into that I don't, that I can't pick the lock for. I'm gonna leave that door open, but not this one. Oh, there's another, another bathroom. Of interest. All right. Who's 
Don't play games. Don't play games? Then I have to quit. Saw something. The security room key, that's what I need. Well, I don't know that I didn't know until now that I need it, but it sounds like something I need. Anything in this no, it doesn't even open, alright. Oh, there's locks there, I see. I hadn't even noticed, in fact. I hadn't even checked this out. Scouting orb? Two scouting orbs. Okay. Captain Jarvis, I will be away for the next few days to meet with some potential clients. Until I return, I would like you to keep my office key with you at all times. Should Froggett or McCallant need anything from my home, let them into my office so they can fetch my house key from my desk. No one else is allowed in there under any circumstances. Curator Antrim. House key? So Jarvis is in the tower, he has the key to Antrim's office, who, where the key to Antrim's home is. Now, is anything at Antrim's home? Maybe that's where the uh, things are. So I bet I can't pick this, right? Yeah. But we have the key now. Alrighty. Uh, hmm. Oh, what's this key? Display case key, nice. Alright, let's check out these very carefully. Let me read things. Tower Watcher, West Hall Watcher, Great Hall Watcher, East Hall Watcher, Atrium Watcher, Alarm Kill Switch, okay. Tower Security Switch, alright. I think we're going to leave the tower for later. Let's just see if we can turn off all the watchers and hope they don't turn themselves back on again. The barrier will, but that's okay. I think that I expect the barrier is the only thing that will turn itself on. Ooh. Didn't see me, did he? Oh, he's going the other way. Careless, Garrett, careless. Okay. That means. Hang okay. on. Nice. Almost missed that. Now I don't know what what key I was supposed to use to get in there, but uh, I guess I'll find out later. So with the watches down, I may actually be able to make a get through on the ground floor after all. Yeah, the watch is off. There was a guard patrolling at one point. There's noisy tower floors. I'd kind of like to see the guards before I run into them. He come in here. Yes. Do I take him out or do I let him go? Well, let's just watch. See where he goes. Make up my mind afterwards. I think he's in a loop. Yeah, okay. Really, Garrett, what's with your uh, obsession with looking into toilets? It's 
getting to be quite strange now. Yeah, he's going to turn left up there and come around again. Okay. Broom closet. Well, I could use crates if I want to climb up there. A label? Our founder, Bud Mikkels. Mikkels, Mitchells. Oh, hello. No, it's not. I thought it was a switch. Invisibility potion. Nice. Alright. God, we'll be on his way back. I think I'll follow him down the hall and see what I can loot from there. So I think everything below me here is just uh, the front door, although I suppose I should check it out too. It's a nice wooden roof, ceiling. Could be good for rope arrows if I uh, need it. Front desk. Yeah, I'm not gonna. My overshoes, where did I? Yeah, where did you put your overshoes? There's definitely guards at the front, so I'm not gonna go there. Carpet! Did you see that carpet? Oh my god. Can't wait. Oh, it's not carpet. Why did I think it was carpet? I thought this whole room was carpet. It's a strange display. get stuck on. Tapestries I suppose, eh? Uh, all this modern, modern weaving, don't care for it. Oop. I find these things in every noble house in the city. Who'd pay money to come stare at them here? It's a really good question. And I nearly walked into the two different guards. Well, the guards that come and stare at them. Well, you notice them gone. <laughs> Just disappears in front of his eyes. I'm still hearing footsteps out there. Maybe that's upstairs. Oh, there's someone in the corner. All right. Nothing. Not as exciting as I thought. All right, that room is going to be a little hairy. This guard wandering through it, that guard coming in behind, and one in there that I don't know what his movements are. You know what? I'm going to take a break just now. See you shortly. 